So I did a video recently on a walkthrough of the whole place, like everything connected, how and whatever. And I've had quite a few questions about the solar setup. So I thought I'll do just a dedicated video on that. Um, so first of all, what do you need? Well, why do I need solar? Um, and that's mainly because there's no power here. I'm at the gate of my farm and there's just, there's no power down here. But I did want a camera, which at the top of that pole, there's a camera pointing at the gate so I can see who's coming and going, etc. Um, we have guests, we have a and b and we have deliveries, etc, etc. So it's nice to see who's coming and going. Um, so what do you need for a solar setup uh, in general? Well, you need a solar panel that's there, obviously. Then you need a solar controller. This is the really critical part. Solar controller will take the power that the solar panel generates, it will put it through the controller, the solar controller, and puts it into the batteries. Um, and there's many different solar controller types and standards, and I don't understand most of them. But you need a solar controller that then puts the power into the batteries so that you have a storage of the power. And then you obviously need something that uses that power coming out of the batteries. So the idea here was that I would have Wi-Fi at the gate and the camera plugged in hardwired and everything um, with an access point and uh, whatever else I could sort of come up with and put up here. So I needed Wi-Fi down here. I needed um, obviously a controller. I needed networking um, for the camera so I can get the camera feed out and I needed an access point networked as well. So that was sort of the, plump, the, the, the premise of all of this. Um, so I'll just give you a quick tour well, maybe not that quick of how I've set it all up and um, what 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 I ended up with. How does this all work together? And of course, at the end, I will also show you a rough guide of how much all this costs if you want to do that. All right, so that's the solar panel. That's a 100 watt solar panel. Um, Technology has come a long way in the last decade, so it's not very big. It gives me 100 watts, which is plenty for what I'm doing. And then obviously there's cables coming out of it from there goes around everything they're obviously they're outdoor rated and those cables go up into this thing that is the ubiquity or unify solar point so I'll just focus for you there uh, this is a solar controller with networked connections I'll see if I can get a bit more hopefully you can see that there we go so that has uh, obviously the solar panel is hooked in there and there either side plus an um, positive negative and then up here right, there are four network connections so I'm only using three of them and here is a um, uh, the battery connected through here and these are quite neat you can just pull these out they come out they're really easy to install um, and then here is the 24 DC out if I need that so eventually I'm going to use that for a gate opener but right now it's not connected and then that all goes down the pole here and into these two 12 volt deep cycles, 75 amp hour batteries, um, which seems to be doing exactly um, what they're meant to, as in deep cycle, because they just never run out. And apparently uh, these will last maybe five years, I think, before five, hopefully a bit longer, but before the sort of cactus. Um, now the really cool thing obviously is the solar controller and all these bits that are plugged in here. So the solar controller is on my network and it is, it, it's on the network through, come over here, up here is a nano station. So that one there is a nano station. And that is a wireless connection up to the house, which is about there, roughly. Um, so that's, the, that's my wired wire, wireless connection. <laughs> so why have I chosen nano station? Um, because digging through all of this is an awful big job. Um, and I've had people suggest that, but I've chosen nano stations much, much simpler, and I don't have to do any digging. And I've also connected a G3 bullet camera, which is up there, and there's a unified mesh uh, access point there as well. So that now is all powered through this lovely solar panel and the batteries down here. And um, as you'll see in a second, the setup is really simple, and the, the dashboard shows me that I'm, I just don't run out of power. Um, so one of the things to remember with the solar, power, the solar point here, the solar controller, is that it only takes 24 volt passive devices. So the PoE, the power of Ethernet that comes out of the, of the LAN ports here, or the RJ45 plugs, is 24 volt passive. So you can only use certain cameras and equipment, such as the mesh uh, access point here and the G3 bullet. 
you wouldn't be able to put on, say, a Flex HD access point or anything else that uses PoE plus, PoE plus plus, that uses 48 volts, anything like that. It has to be 20 volt or passive. So that is one of the, um, I guess, limiting factors of this. But I've managed to find something. So it's uh, for me, it's much easier. So, um, okay, let's have a look at what it took to, to set it up digitally on the computer. First, let's have a look at the architecture that I chose. So you can see that it comes from the UDM Pro, it goes by nano stations down to the solar point, and there's a camera and the batteries are attached to the solar point. So when you fire the solar point up, the first thing you see when you connect to the Wi-Fi is this welcome screen. And the username and password is right here underneath these plugs here with the QR code. So you uh, type in your username and password to get started, and then you've got to set up the different things. So first of all, you've got to tell it what kind of panel it is. There's a 100 watt panel in this case. The next step is to say what batteries it is. So I have two 75 amp hour batteries, so you put that in. Once you've configured everything for the solar point the solar controller you then get this dashboard where you can see pretty much everything that's going on so right now you can see there's a weather forecast for my location uh, that'll tell me if I'm likely to run out of battery uh, or you know battery power in the battery it tells me that I'm currently at 27.1 volts that's pretty good you know that's that's I'm always aiming at about 29 even though that it runs at 24 volt but you always charge them a bit higher just like your 12 volt in your car charges at 14 volts uh, you can see how much power I've consumed. You can see how much power I am collecting and have collected today. Up here you can see there's the different wattages. I can change that to the month if I want. You can see every day I've collected more than I have used. And you can then see the output down here. You can see there are different uh, devices attached. There's the nano station here. You can see that there. There's my camera attached and there's my gate access point, which is the uh, mesh access point. And then I still have a spare here that's powered off and my DC power is off as well. Now the DC power is what I'm going to use for the gate, so the gate opener, that will also be powered from this device. And of course you can see my local IP address, uptime 57 days. This is very stable. This device, it's only been, uh, I say only 57 days because that was when I last did a firmware update for it. So it's very stable. Uh, it's been running now for about eight months and it, it hasn't let me down once. Uh, I had different batteries on initially and that didn't work as well, but that certainly wasn't the solar points fault. I can also configure everything. Um, so I can say, you know, what's the power, what's my charging target, uh, shut down voltage so that if the batteries do run low, I can actually cut them off, um, cut off the solar points so that I don't you know, damage the batteries by going too low. And then I have uh, the output here. So there's the various outputs. I can put priorities of these on high or low, and I can turn them off at different voltages. That's quite neat. I'm not using that at the moment, but that can be really, really useful. And of course, you can set up a wireless. That's just for managing the actual solar point with the wireless. Um, it's on the actual wireless access point. And then there's the network, you know, whatever your network systems is, and the system as well. So you can see um, everything that's going on in this particular device. You can upgrade firmware and so on. And back here on the dashboard. So very neat device. Uh, it saved me a lot of hassle. It integrates with the UNMS part of the Ubiquity um, ecosystem. Uh, but let's just have a look now at the costs for setting up this system. On my blog, I also outlined all of these details and a whole lot more. Uh, you can see there's a test rig that I had that I was carrying around trying to figure out how to use this solar, uh, how to set up the nano stations. There's a few caveats there that are a bit gutches. And also about the solar point here, I dug a hole, woo! And then of course the setup and how that all worked. But I also put out the pricing and all up in Australian dollars with all the equipment, so all the nano stations and everything, this would cost about $1,872. Now that's a fair bit. Um, you can do it a lot cheaper if you choose other devices instead of the three, three camera, you can choose a cheaper camera than that. That was the one that Unify actually sent to me as a review unit, so I chose to use that one. Uh, the solar controller at $365 is the real benefit of this setup, in my opinion. You can choose other types of panels, other types of batteries. This is just uh, what I chose to set up. Uh, and it works really well in my location. But check out my blog post as well, because there's a whole lot more about all the details of the setup on there as well. And you can read that in your own time. I will put a link in the description. 
Thanks a lot for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I do a lot more videos on this type of content. Uh, you can always unsubscribe if you didn't like it anyway. And uh, like the video. And I will uh, be back soon with a lot more home automation, networking, car Lego stuff. Who knows what next? Mm, see ya. Bye.